Hey, oh. hey, oh. <laughs> that was intense. You know, I, I, I kind of I dig a trap beat every once in a while. I like it. Yeah, it's man, very John Wick. Now. I was about to go to bed. Now I'm now I'm ready. <laughs> oh man, don't say it like that. It wasn't that bad, was it? No, I was say I was about to go to bed before that song, and then that kind of pumped me up. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Yeah. Trying to make sure I'm not covered by that live logo there. There we go. Now we're good. There you go. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. We are going to be doing a another barrel selection. Second one this week of Old Forester Barrel Proof. Single barrel. This is the second barrel proof one that we've done. This kind of follow up to, what was it? The Proof is Right that we did last time that yep. what sold out in record time yet again. One of those kind of barrels. I think everybody's starting to really dig Old Forester Barrel Proof kind of see what we uh, what we like tonight. I've got, at least in front of me, I have the the original sample bottles. Everybody else has um, some one and a half ounce samples, I, I believe is what it is. So I've got the proofs on here. We do there's, too. There's, oh, you got, some, you got proofs on there too? Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not special. Well, shit, then never mind. <laughs> and uh, I was about to say, like, save your comments for the end because I was like, these are some high proofers. <laughs> so, <laughs> or maybe I just do. No, no, I, I no, get that. Yeah. All right, good. I, no. yeah, I asked him to, uh, Tony to put as much detail as possible on the labels. So, see, Shim, you go the extra mile. Kenny never did that type of stuff. <laughs> I'm always like, one, sure two, or did. three. <laughs> I hold all the data. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we are, I'm going to go ahead and we'll get, kind of get this started here in a second, but I want to introduce some um, folks that we have here. Of course, you all know Ryan and I. And then I think everybody's starting to get to know Shem. Shem is our barrel program manager here over at Bourbon Pursuit, and he's doing a killer job of getting a strong, very strong pipeline of, of barrels rolling in. If you all could see the text messages every day that we have about <laughs> things that are coming in. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll kind of hold a teaser for you, but we've got some Russell's barrels on the way too. That'll be next week. I'm not going to say how many yet. We'll save that one towards the end. I know. I I got a text last night talking about something and I was like, I don't understand this. And then <laughs> and he's like, just to fill you in, this is what's happening with Russell's. And I was like, oh boy. Does yes. not compute. <laughs> yes. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. Oh, look, there's Tony. He says, I'll hide the details next time. <laughs> no. Uh, it's okay. You know, it's 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 one of those things, you know, when you go to a, a barrel selection and you know, at least at like four rows at different places, they try to hide as much information as possible. So you're not swayed by, um, you know, literally anything, whether it's the, you know, the proof or the age or the, the recipe bill. or yeah, it, literally anything. Like and you so, were the other night. By no, Carolyn. no, I wasn't, I wasn't swayed. I picked it out. I knew that the, the, the second one was 36%. Like I could just taste it. I, I know my MGP enough that that I can kind of sniff it out now, mm -hmm. but that's how it is. But before we kind of get going, I want to introduce uh, two other Patreon supporters here tonight. David, welcome. How are you doing? Doing great. Excited to be here. First time. Well, good. Uh, awesome. So tell Glad everybody, yeah, tell everybody like where you're from and is this your first barrel pick? So this is my first barrel pick with you guys. I normally live in Austin, Texas, but I'm in New Orleans for the week, so uh Got a little change of scenery, and and here we are. Nice. What's, what's I saw something was going down at Bourbon Street like last week. I saw like two people got shot. So make sure you stay away from there. Yeah, we're we're far away from that. Uh, just you know, trying to stay safe. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, so I'm, of course, I'm I'm in the thick of it, probably with everybody else. But I get a a Google Daily Digest of just news articles that hit the web every single day that contain the word bourbon. And so sometimes there's stuff that comes in from bourbon street, new Orleans. And I'm just like, Oh yeah. And so it's, it was like pandemic. It was like, Oh, people are still partying on bourbon street. And like, I got all those things. And yeah, and that was, that was last week was not the most uh, happy news, but let's, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Whatever. I'm just rambling now. <laughs> yeah. All right, Patrick, welcome to the show as well. Sure. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Um, I'm in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, this is actually, um, I've been picking barrels with some friends here uh, through Wholesale Wine and Spirits. Um, this is my first Old Forester, which I'm really excited about because I've really enjoyed the barrel strength are great. Um, I actually really like, I'll give credit. I didn't think I'd like the 100 proof as much. 
but I've had some of those. And I think I, I really, I think they're under kind of um, under the radar a little more. I think people kind of went right to the barrel strength. Um, but I've tried some really good hundred proof, hundred proof ones are really good. Yeah, I've, I've enjoyed them a lot more than I thought I would, but I, I really like the barrel strength. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's just cause they're all over the map. Like, you know, you can get the proofs of anywhere from like 124 to high, like mid, mid one thirties. It'll just kind of punch you in the face, but you'll enjoy them. So. Yeah. I'm on the same train as you, Patrick. I like the hundred proofs. Yeah. That's what the thing is, is like, I think, I actually think you get a lot more flavor and they might be better in my opinion, also at a hundred proof, but people will chastise us. And if you don't get barrel proof, because if you wanted to make it hundred proof, you can do it if you want and get, yep. <laughs> get close enough. So get your graduated cylinders out. Yep. So just go to Amazon and buy some pipettes in the cylinder and you can be a blender at home, just like Ryan. That's right. That's my <laughs> process. You should you should come out with your own kits next time, Ryan. Be like, yeah, we're we're now uh, blending at home. Actually, never mind. Marianne beat you to that, didn't she? Yeah, probably. And I'll, I'll have to get Shim to coordinate that too. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yep. Hey, there's just not enough. Just no, I know. <laughs> All right, so um, so we've got three samples. Um, everybody's got the barrel numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my trusty notebook here, so I can start writing notes. Um, since everybody else has been on a barrel pick before, and David, you have it. I always kind of give my usual spiel here: is that there's really no right or wrong way to do this. You kind of do it however makes sense to you. Um, especially with these high proofs, I would encourage you to actually go through and nose them first before drinking, because um, as soon as you take the first one here at um, 60 plus percent, it's gonna, it's gonna hit you hard. So wake you up. Yep. Find your, find your nose first and what you like, and then we'll, we'll start working from there. And for folks that are tuning in, there's about 75 people tuned in right now. If you have questions or want to know things, feel free to put them in the chat. We will, we'll answer them. If you've got a good joke or a punchline, we'll put it in here and maybe we'll try to answer it. Who knows? We'll put you on the screen. Awesome. Can always use a good uh and by the way i'm putting these in sequential order so starting with barrel 5623 um and then i've got of course three glasses in front of me so that is how i'm gonna do it uh i guess there's a there's a bunch of good uh talk over here talking about 1910 and 1920 let's just go ahead and put that to the uh to the crowd here so what do you prefer Are you a 1910 and a 1920 person because it seems like all the other ones in the Whiskey Row series don't get as much love besides these two. I mean, I like, uh, I don't know. It just depends what you want. 1910 is definitely like the toasted marshmallow sw sweet sipper. 1920 has got, you know, great spice, great finish, great barrel characteristics. I don't know. They're so different. Probably as an everyday drinker, I'd do 1910. But I like 1920 from time to time. Well, I'll let y'all take them here. I can't get these things open. They're, these are like these are like I I don't know if they like put gorilla glue on them or something. I got to go get Good a job, uh, Sam. We put the, the little samplers were on we, tight too. We put Loctite on those. <laughs> I'll be right back. I, I I'm gonna have to go get actually get a bottle open. I'll be right back. That's funny. Is anyone? I haven't done it the 1915. I mean, I feel like I've I haven't either. It, but I kind of right oh. Here. oh, you've got it. Well, I Damn. I made it. <laughs> so is it just 50 50 blend of each 50 50 blend right off of uh, uh what jackie said to do on when last time you guys had her on yeah that's yeah it. i've seen those do right like people have made a whole sticker series to make their own bottles yeah, yeah it looks just like it i was like dang they finally came out with that and it was all <laughs> you know somebody just made a bottle look just exactly like it yeah it's awesome man the nose on the first one's great The third one too. Yeah, fifty-seven ninety feels spicy off the nose. Yeah, it's like straight heat. I have it with me. Oh yeah, fifty-eight. That's the strongest. I think fifty-seven ninety is hot, like on the. I mean, but yeah, ton no, I'm of vapor. I'm trying not to look at the proof. I'm trying to turn it around to get it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> is he still struggling? He's got it on video too. Do I need to call Lauren? <laughs> that that's all Marwa too. Maybe they did put Loctite on them. Because because she would have 
uncorked and filled them up and then corked them back up again. It's like, no joke, I cannot get these lids off. <laughs> not not one single one? No. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm going to have to go get a pair of pliers. I'll be right back. Yeah. No way. <laughs> <laughs> What's Kenny been doing before the show? Kenny Slippery hands. Sample bottles. Yeah. Mo- moisturizing. <laughs> next, <laughs> next one he'll have, like the next one will have basically have like uh, channel locks right by him. Just throw like maybe on. <laughs> yeah. Vice right grips. Back. Right. Ready to go. Or a vice hooked up to the desk. <laughs> yeah. Like you can see it pressed into the logo and in his background, just like, just in case, like break glass in case of emergency. That's hilarious. Never seen that before. Never had that happen. Yeah, nose is on fifty seven nineties, like straight heat. The other ones kind of have some like dark cherry, little sweet oak kind of things going for me. Kind of old fashioned cola on that fifty eight eighteen. Mm-hmm. Mm. I just get chocolate on the fifty seven fifty six twenty three. Yeah. I'm gonna need to be judicious with my my samples. Tony uh comped me his samples. Um so he had kind of like the leftover uh amount in, in the bottle. So I don't have the full full tasting sample, but enough that I should be able to get a, a feel for it. I think I got about an ounce and a half ounce. Should yeah. be enough, especially yeah. at this perf. Right. Good Lord. You get you okay, buddy? I, I got my pliers on. <laughs> <laughs> I got the first one, so I was able to get no that way. one going. Oh yeah, this right. is. I gotta get the next one here. They're just coming from Main Street, right? Yeah, I know. Hold on, I gotta. Don't break the glass. This cannot end well. <laughs> yeah, don't <laughs> shatter. Now we have sealed samples from 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 Old Forester. Yes, Lauren. <laughs> I, I did love that story because well, I, I did love it because well, this is great, and I just can't imagine with those buses. Like I read it, just laughing hysterically. Oh, there. Oh yeah the the bus. I mean, that was so <laughs> weird. It would sound like. She's like, yeah, this is our propane uh, bus, and they sounded just like diesels. I was like, uh, it doesn't sound like propane to me. It sounds like straight diesels. <laughs> Talking about and, bullet now? Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, I probably shouldn't drive this. And I was like, yeah, let's go get the other one. Then we hop on the other one, same thing. It's wild. <laughs> What's weird Somebody taking... we, did, we did one over there, and um, it's funny because, like, what you guys are talking about, like, there's no one there. It's just y'all. And right. So it's, I can't imagine weird it is when the buses break down and it's just y'all there i mean because we were there it's just her car and our car and um it's just i just can't imagine because it feels so, it's so weird it's such a different feel now than it used to be like it's just like a ghost yeah you feel like you're on a, like a modern warfare like board or something when you're there there's like nobody or you know just buildings and not a single person and two empty buses <laughs> that don't work that don't work yeah <laughs> that, have been, that have been ransacked but it's still fun. Whiskey is great. My hands are rubbed raw now. Look at how red they are. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Trying to get those damn things open. Posts. Who sent you that? Did Tony send you those? Yeah, he did. It's yeah. I put him on the screen. He said he's been working out. I don't. I can tell. No leakage. No, there's definitely You're like simple parafilm would have done. <laughs> <laughs> done the trick. Not the Loctite. <laughs> there's the sticker i guess right Long yeah there we go or kenny's hands what was he doing with his hands where he couldn't open a bottle before the show <laughs> <laughs> just get my trusty uh, clamps right here my uh, pliers so david what are you doing in new orleans you for work or uh no my uh fiance's family lives here so we came and crashed right. their house for a week very cool that city's nuts. Yeah, we've had some great food while we've been here. Who 
Have you all uh, started, hit all three noses yet, or are you still taking your time? Have you Actually, have you all started tasting yet, and no, I'm just falling behind? Yeah, we've already picked. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> That's what take I can say. Up. Take a sip. Yeah, that, that nose on 5790 is hot. It's just hot. It, yeah, not bad. Completely different than me. Ryan you, you, like, gotta, I really, Ryan, Ryan, you got to come with your tasting notes on these too. So, so Shem's got something, something to work with here. Uncle Shem needs his notes. <laughs> I'm putting them all right here, right now. <laughs> this one tastes like a vice grip in DWD 40. <laughs> <laughs> Straight plastic. I mean, that has to be the name of the bottle, right? The vice grip bottle. We got to work that in somehow. Yeah. yeah. We can figure something job. out. The jaws 50. Of yeah, 5818 has got that banana runt kind of note you always get. It's popping through. On the taste or the nose? 18, Both. yeah. Yep. A little you bit more on the taste. It's like a hotter uh, banana than, than a lot of the other ones. but Sure. But these have been, I'll tell you, these have been great. Like we were talking about, if you get some of the right, get some of these are right, it's like kind of, they really do sneak in. It's just, it's not the, the same thing as drinking some really bad high proof like barrel strength. Like it's it's kind of just in there and you can still enjoy it, which is nice. Yeah. I mean, There's a lot of good flavors. Of the, I get I really get on um, five six two three, I, I really get a lot of chocolate. Just really Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Glad I got a lot of water for this one tonight. I'm gonna need it. It's got habanero, a creaminess habanero to it too, chocolate. Though. Habanero chocolate. You and your your spicy chocolates and spicy things. You always pull those things out. I like are, uh, sweet and spicy. You are a spicy Cecil though. I'm digging that honey, all that honey stuff. Oh yeah, Fire Bee honey. Shout Happy out honey. to Fire. Yeah. Shout out to our new sponsor. It is pretty good. Because I eat my. Uh, adult lunchables for lunch every day and basically it's i turn it into a charcuterie board by putting honey honey on it then so it's just like crackers meat cheese spicy honey yeah i know if we're uh if i'm going to kenny's for around lunchtime i better order food or i'm gonna get lunchable <laughs> offered to me i'm like i'm not eating that i'm not six <laughs> you know, i mean we, the lunchable pizza is the way to go well, that's what he's like. I got a lunchable, and I'm like, a pizza? <laughs> no, with an Oreo? <laughs> no, I don't. I'll tell you what. I'm not. I'm just not a fan of like cold pizza, like in general, like leftover cold pizza. I can't do it. It's shame. not. It's not my style. It's a shame. I like it's Papa John's cold. I think it's better not cold. Sauce cold because it just like it just doesn't work cold. <laughs> Yeah, uh, somebody's asking, is this an Old Forester barrel proof barrel pick? Yes, this is Old Forester barrel proof is what we are selecting. Yeah, there's a like chocolate covered raisin. What's that candy called, Kenny? Raisinets. 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 Yes, one thirty one on or not. Uh, fifty six twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have said that about fifty seven ninety, but we'll let you get there. I'm slow tonight. That's okay. Uh, I was watching Austin Powers before this. I forgot how funny that was. <laughs> Which Me and one? Tiffany were just the first one. First one. Yeah. Yeah. It's so stupid, but it's so funny. It's great. Who does number two work for? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Show that turd who's boss. That's right, Tom Arnold. <laughs> oh yes, I just that that was just on when I that part. <laughs> it's like, goddamn, what'd you eat? <laughs> that was the first DVD I ever bought. I remember that. That was like right when DVD players. Like I went to college and I had a DVD player in my computer when they first came out, and I remember going to like the mall and spending some ridiculous amount of money. It's probably like thirty or forty bucks. I was like, I have to test right. out this test out this DVD player. <laughs> I had like it was all God. That's funny. Tim God, with the, the freaking sharks with laser beams. <laughs> oh yeah. 
it's just the lines in there. It's like the stupid lines. He walks in with the hotel room with what's her name, Elizabeth Hurley. And he's like, so which side of the bed you want? And he's like, left, right. You want to shag now or shag later? And you're like, gosh, that's so stupid. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Let's see. Let's see. Was Fat Bastard? He was in. He was in the second one, wasn't he? Is that what it was? No, he's in the third one. Is that oh with Gold Member? Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, smoking a pancake, mm-hmm. bonging a blitz. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was a Fat Bastard action figure, right? I think that like there literally was at the point they were making action figures up for everything. Nice. Probably. I'm sure it's on eBay somewhere. <laughs> That's one of one of my favorite characters. Yeah, help. I'm in a nutshell. Yes, I just saw that. Will that was hilarious. Oh yeah. Like so, basically, in a nutshell, I'm. Oh wait, what? (laughs) Where is it? Chrome tab. Yep. There's uh. There's your old Forrester, or sorry, old Forrester, (laughs) fat bastard action figure right there. So yeah, they uh. It was a real thing. Oh my God! Look at that. (laughs) <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Yet in my How about baby. it? How about it, Joe, baby? He in two of them, <laughs> in just one of them, or was he in like the second and the third? Fat bastard! I think he was only in the third. I think it was just the third. Can't remember. Brett says he was in the second and third, but I can't remember. Because it was like uh, I'm trying to think who Elizabeth Hurley. And I guess it was the one where they went back, right? The British one where they went back, like Heather Graham. And yeah, then Heather Graham, then Beyonce. Because mm-hmm. I think don't for, don't forget Fook me and Fook you. That's I was about I was about to say that. <laughs> it was I was like Fook me, Fook you. <laughs> <laughs> what they're like a whole lot of a John or some that lady's name. <laughs> <laughs> I like Eric's remember that tastes a bit nutty. Yeah. That kind of goes <laughs> with the theme tonight. <laughs> All right. So Perry says it was. It was he was in the second and the third. So we got two people. He was in the second. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot all the stuff with Scotty. Like uh Oh yeah, Scotty. Scotty's Scotty doesn't fire. know. Scotty's on fire. Well, well Scotty doesn't know. That was uh Euro trip. Yes, with Matt Damon singing the um, song, right? It was like Matt Damon's yep. guest appearance that showed up, like the techno version. Mm-hmm. And then, oh gosh. Scotty That's is. right. That what, All my, what's his name? Seth. Uh, Seth Green. That, Seth yeah, Seth Green. Yeah, Seth Green, Green, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Seth Green. So here's the real question. Can we figure out a way to uh, get Austin Powers and Pliers into the sticker? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, baby. Austin players. Austin uh, Powers with uh, pliers. I think Austin Powers just sounds like a better sticker. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I have to think about this. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. These are all pretty good, by the way. Fifty-seven ninety will wake you up. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's packing it. Particularly, yeah, okay. on the nose. I mean, all around. All right, Anal- Anale needs a shout out. So, shout out to Anale. Shout out to all of our women on Patreon. So, thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Thank you for shout your support. Anale. Cheers. There you go. Got your shout out. <laughs> like, look at Tim Ray. Austin Pliers. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Mm hmm. Ooh. 5790 is just a heat firecracker. You think? I like it. Kind of a harshness to it. Kenny just likes to punish his palate. I do. I was like, I was like, I was like, George E. Stag all day. I was like, I kind of like 5790. <laughs> I feel like after 5790, I need to take like a two minute break before I go to the next one. Just because 5790 makes like 5623 tastes like it's 80 proof and it's only two points per difference. 
Well, that's, I mean, but that's the crazy thing, right? Is the 5623 is, is only, is a little under th like 132 and it doesn't taste like 132. Even when you drink it, that was the first one that I tasted. It just yeah. doesn't. And that's like, I mean, some of these barrel, barrel proofs are like masterpieces that they're able to get them down or like not get them down, but like we, we joke, we call it like hidden or like sneaky proof or something, you know, like that they're able to kind of squeeze them in there and, and they're great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The heat. dangerous drinkers. I love them. Yeah, I could drink a lot of fifty six twenty three. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I yeah, I was gonna say. So, anybody that's that's curious, should we tell everybody what the proofs are on some of these? Yeah, totally. Right. So fifty six twenty three, you're at sixty five point nine and six. I can't do math that well. Uh, one thirty one eight. There you go. All right. Shem, you're on fire. So, uh, 5790 is 66.6. 1332. I actually have it fully written out in the proof. So, oh, well, perfect. And then <laughs> I'll let you go ahead and just tell everybody what 5818 is. Uh, 124.6. There we go. So, 5790 is the, uh, he's got the, he's got the heat. 133 proof, man. That's, that's up there. And most people ask, like, what's the ages on these? Old Force, these are typically around like four to five years old. Yeah. So. They say the heat cycling adds two years or two seasons, two years. What is it? That's kind it's of scary. amazing, right? Like January yeah. of 17 on a lot of these. Mm hmm. Wow. It works, I guess. Yeah. Wow. 415 of 16 is, is the proof bomb. Caroline's winning warehouse. We do have that. Yeah, there's it everything. I or one question mark. Yeah. Maybe L. I don't know. Yeah, it's gotta be an I. I think it's the second I. one's an I. And the third one's a G. And then floor one on the first one. Yeah. But I mean, let's see. I've Ryan, have you been in the warehouses at in Shively for Heaven or for Old Forester? I don't think so. We've been in the Cooperage. I was like, yeah. I've I've been in um, one of them one time. I was there. I think, gosh, I don't know. If, I think it was actually the launch at King of Kentucky is when I went. Remember, you you were supposed to yeah. be there. You were a no-show. Um, <laughs> no-show. No, you no-show. They had a plate setting out there for you and everything. For King? I never just tell somebody I'm not coming. Hey, listen, I, I saved your bacon. I drank your King of Kentucky samples. so <laughs> oh. Took one for the team. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I remember being in there like they've got, they, you know, it's at least from the one warehouse I was in. I don't remember it being like as tall as, you know, Heaven Hill or anything like that. So I don't really know like how their stories or anything like that work. I'm just going off of memory well, from whenever King of Kentucky was launched. And they don't have like a, a music style ricking system. They have it's all like metal ricking i guess you could call it <laughs> metal rods it is it's it's not they it's not least, wood well, we know they at least have eight floors because 5790 is on floor eight is it floors or is i don't i don't maybe it's just levels i, I don't really know levels yeah yeah i don't know mine says floor eight well i have floor. i have this and none of these say the word floor on them hmm Hmm. This says floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, blurry. Maybe it or eight eight. Maybe Shauna from Brown Foreman gave you some insider info then that I missed out on. Yep. And Kenny, you said the the warehouse is uh, kind of you know brick or insulated in some way, or they're heat cycled. Well, they are, yeah. They're heat cycled. Um, let me see if I can just old forester. You'd think we'd know this stuff being a burn podcast. But... I know. Like, does somebody have some images out there? Okay, let's see. That's that's all the new distillery. Where's the actual? Mm. I get a lot of you guys get a lot of heat on the finish. What is it? 57. It's the lower proof one is a little hot on the finish for me. <clears throat> More than I expected. I think I didn't get like I got heat throughout the, the 5623, but not as much in the finish as I did the. Yeah. It's the young one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
It just builds. Fires at the end. That's got like the stereotypical OFO profile. That one right there. Right. Yeah. All right. It's like brown sugar, banana note, banana bread kind of thing. It's good. Okay. So that's what the inside of the uh, the warehouses look like. Because like that's what I remember it looking like. Yeah. Those are not floors. I don't really know if you would consider those floors, would you? I mean, those mm -hmm. look more just like, I don't know. But then again, that's, one, two, like I mean, a, that's six. The racking system of, of any warehouse you'd find in, in any kind of, you know, industry. Yeah. I, like I said, it's not, it's not too terribly. I don't remember them being big. Like they weren't Heaven Hill size warehouses. So where's Jackie when you need her? Yeah. <laughs> Or Tyler, or yeah, or just anybody that knows something. Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many. Yeah, what's a? Uh, what are they putting out at Brown Foreman? Like how much barrels per day, and how much? How many warehouses do they have? I don't have that answer for you, unfortunately. I, I know, like I said, I know Sazerac and I know Heaven Hill, but I don't know much about the Brown Foreman, which. You know, they are a publicly traded company. They should have yeah. that information out there. I do keep that, like, Shively Hope plant kind of hidden. Mm hmm Like, don't mind us over here, the workhorse. More like tears, yeah. Yeah. Annalee says when you get our shit in line, too. You're right. We're slacking. <laughs> Thanks, Annalee. Appreciate <laughs> it. We need you on here on this pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to guide us through. I don't know. I've got a contender already. Oh, I do for sure. Mm -hmm. well, I know what Kenny does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go through. Taste, I'm going to go through and taste them again before I before I pull any judgment. I'm going to start from the right and work my way left, though. Switch it up. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think I have my, yeah. It's like on uh, 5818, I get like, it's a little bit of coffee notes, a little bit of espresso. You don't drink coffee. How would you know? I do in certain <laughs> occasions. Espresso? I love espresso. That's my, my, my go-to. Yeah. I'm not an everyday coffee drinker. You already you tell me all the time I'm too wired as it is. Last thing I need is coffee. <laughs> I know. I drank a lot more coffee before the pandemic because Starbucks had free refills, but I would go to Starbucks every day. So I work from home. So it was like kind of like the hour break before you'd start um, you know, just start working. It was nice to get out of the house before kind of have an hour to yourself, hang out at Starbucks, get a free refill. Sometimes too, yeah, like work late the night before, but um, now I don't go as much, just or I, or I don't stick around for the refill, just go and grab and go. Uh, mm -hmm. Ryan's a well, big coffee person. Yeah, I like it. Ryan, you do the I pour like, over? I I do. I, I do. If I have time to wait for it, I will do it. But most of the time I don't. So I usually just either get like, a double espresso from Quills or a double espresso with like a little bit of like steamed almond milk. Not mm. like a whole latte, but just a little bit. Yeah. And it's pretty tasty. But Ryan but, also wakes up at like 4 a.m. to start your day, don't you? That's not true. 5.15. <laughs> okay. That's that's about four hours earlier than I start my day. So <laughs> He's got to start blending early in the morning. Yes. It is. When the palate's fresh, you know. Mm-hmm. Before ever, my palate likes to work before everybody else gets up. You know. <laughs> so what's next for that? What's that? The, the rise next for you guys on that that, that front? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I submitted three different styles of three different blends to Kenny, and he picked one, and we're in agreement. So we know which direction we're going with it. Okay. Uh, not saying we have the final one, but. What we got is pretty good. I mean, 
yep. and we'll keep tweaking. I feel like, uh, I, I don't know, Kenny, if this is true, but I feel like rye is, is something that you're passionate about. Uh, I wouldn't say, I'm, I mean, I think it's, it's one of those things that it, it, it hits the mood. And I mean, that's what it's like. I love like whistle pig rye. I love Canadian rye. Um, but it's just one of those things that's, I'll just go to the basement and I'll see rye. And I was like, yeah, I'm kind of moved for a rye right now. Yeah. But no, nah, like when we're, when we're figuring out like what this is going to be and where it's going to go, we, we kind of figured the rye will probably be like a third of what we're going to do for against like the bourbon for United. Oh, I, I sure. Just, yeah, yeah. I just, I just think, you know, bourbon is just a much hotter category right now. And that's where the, that's, that's where the, the focus is going to be for us for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Uh, so what's the age on these bad boys? So we are anywhere between four and is that six years old? Almost six, four and five. Yeah. We're we're at the cusp of a six year old on here. Yeah, the first one is four seven fifteen. The proof bomb <laughs> is uh four fifteen sixteen. And then the last guy that's the lowest proof is the youngest at uh, 127, 17. Yep. And yes, Tim, yeah, Pursuit but... United Rye is happening. It'll come. We're working on it. We're working on that as well as working on everything else for Pursuit United Bourbon, which we are heading to Bartstown Bourbon Company tomorrow to have some more discussions and sign some checks over. I don't know what's going to happen, but... <laughs> Just take more money. Yeah. <laughs> just throw, keep taking money. Just keep throwing money at it until <laughs> something works. And you're like, hope and hope our barrels turn out in four years. Yeah. When when you guys got your your uh, your stock from them for the for the blend, was it all like a recipe they already had kind of in the the hopper? Yeah. Yeah. It is. And that's what it's it's great going into this. Like they are so and actually, I think everybody else, even when we did our new make at Willet, everybody has encouraged us to like, go do your own mash bill, like figure out what your mash bill is going to be. And we're like, no, like we're not going <laughs> to yeah. do that. Like, we know what works. This tastes great. Why would we mess with that? So. Yeah. <laughs> we'll create our own blend with your mash bill, but mm -hmm. we don't we don't want right. to take chances on mash bills. And four years later, we're like, well, what do you do with this? Mm -hmm. Cocktail rye? Cocktail bourbon? <laughs> yeah, that's that's. We we might have that in the future. Who knows? Don't get don't give away our trade secrets yet. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. And uh J and A, Woodenville Rye. Yes, Woodenville Rye is awesome. Gosh, I know. We're still waiting for we were like begging him to give us a barrel. Sell us a barrel. Sell us a barrel. He's like, I'll give you four bourbon. I was like, Well, just give us two bourbon, one rye. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't yes. take it. I'll tell you the pick the uh the episode y'all did with Woodenville actually turned us on to Woodenville and then we did a pick here with Ariel in South Carolina. Well, that's awesome. We loved it. it was great. And she's awesome. I mean, she's just I don't I mean, she's just great to um, all around awesome person. But um we had a lot of fun doing that here. We did we just did another pick here with that one and it was it was a great time. But but it was all because See, Moed Hennessy, we, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else take yeah. notes. <laughs> yep. That's right. You guys are basically the, the, the right, the, the, the pick that launched a thousand picks or something like, right. But that's what, that's what I like got that. us. That should be a t-shirt. It was great. Uh, that's what we did. We did, we, we picked it with wholesale and it was awesome. And then I was like, I'd like to pick another one. Uh, but we had a friend, then I had a friend out there cause I've never been out there, but all of a sudden she's like, I'm right around the corner. And so the other day I was living vicariously through her. She was like, I guess it was it called the um, what's next door? Is it the Hollywood? Or the, I forget. There there's, like a a, there's there. Oh, there's the there. tavern. Yeah, and and she was like sending me all those. I was like, these these look amazing. Like I just want to get out there right now to kind of go. Um, but no, they're great. I mean, we've had a bunch of picks. Even I mean, I just try to get those whenever I can. We had one liquor barn did a great one. I think I can't remember if it was number two or number three, but I really enjoyed it. Um, it's just fun and different, really. And Patrick, are, are you are you starting to see Woodenville kind of like on the shelves where you are in in you know with more regularity, or is it still kind of few and far between? 
we see it on the shelves and i think they i think the state probably had five or six picks here which is big i mean you know like we were talking like four roses it, it breaks my heart but they've kind of shifted to a state pick so south carolina gets mm. one pick one recipe um you know and, and actually that's kind of what shifted us to places like bullet right like yeah. you can go but pick out barrels who knows what's in it but you know i mean i don't even care I, you could say it's yeah right um but but we enjoyed it. It's a great experience. It's accessible and you can get a bunch of, you, know, you can pick out, I mean, you can pick out a few You can go and get more. And, and so, um, but Woodenville then I, I think has really done something different and we're, we're kind of lucky that we were able to get one here. Um, and then just, I, 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 again, I'd really love to get another one, but, but I think that cause South Carolina is very small in terms of like what it's, I think what it's able to get barrel wise. Um, yeah. you know, like we had, um, at Christmas, it was kind of crazy. A couple stores here. They should talk bullet. to Shin. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Tony, it's, really. I mean, <laughs> Jim ran South Carolina. We get picks for days. Um, but, no, <laughs> but like Willet, right? Because like Willet was a hard one here, and I think two or three stores got it, and people lost their minds, right? And and that's great, but but like also, it's not it's just not as accessible. So we got, I mean, the Bullet picks, Buffalo Trace. Um, I'm trying to think, but 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 Woodenville was different, even at the price point, right? It's a, it's a different yeah. price point, but it's also you're not sitting there just trying to kill it in a day. You're drinking it a lot slower of a pace, and so. Um, but it, but it's it's also just fun. It's it's a different story. Like learning about that farm was awesome, right? Yeah, it was the family farm. I mean, it just became a lot of fun. Um, and there's a great story there. I mean, it's, it's, it just kind of, we like, went to that farm. We've been to the farm. We've seen, so we've seen the dog that could have killed us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're like, they're like, y'all should stay in the car just for a minute, just to make sure the dog's in the, in the, in the thing. We're like, okay. <laughs> it's so wild where that farm is. It's like you're in Seattle, you know, this big city, and then you're driving through the mountains and you go to this like flat desert and that's where the farm is. And, uh, it's just like, you go through three different climates within two hours. It's crazy. Wow. It is kind of cool though, like being able to experience um, stuff from different parts of the country and different yeast strains. It's a, it's a completely different flavor profile too, but it's interesting. It's like, I see our fun. girl Annalise in uh, Seattle. Next time we're up there, we'll have to hang out. Hit yeah. her up. And we're doing a lot of Woodenville talk for an old Forrester barrel pick. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, old <laughs> This will be our last one. <laughs> okay, well, well, funny story. Like, we, we turned into the, the store, the, the pick that we did, they, they did it for Old Forester here. We turned into kind of a fun a fun sticker. We, we actually did a tribute to Jackie. We did, like, it was kind of a, nice. we did, we called it, like, Ada's I Can. And we did, because it, it was, like, because it's their 150th, 150th anniversary. We made a lot of fun with it. But, um, but no, I mean, for Old Forester, like, I, I seriously, I was not a big Old Forester drinker other than, like, I would chase every once in a while birthday bourbon and I didn't even know that existed until like probably like five or six years ago. I, I just wasn't something I ever heard of or knew about, but I really think that their barrel program, I mean, they've really done a great job. They, it's there. They make it access again, accessible, right? Like how many, how many picks have you guys done for old Forester? This is our third, third or fourth. Fourth. Right. fourth. The Hawaiian hammer. And then, Proof is right, and then this, right? So maybe this is so just third. the third. This is the third, yeah. I've done one with Dallas Bourbon Club, yeah. yeah. So, but uh, all the Woodenville talk, maybe Old Foe would want to do a Pursuit series with us. You know? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we can see. See what happens. It's just fun talking about it. See what happens yeah. we talk about you on the diff other people's barrel picks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Will asks, is there an easiest place to buy a barrel for a group? Uh, you've just got to, the hardest thing is right now is, is finding places that don't require allocation. I think that's the, the thing. And we I might think, be able to hook you up with Tony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shem's, Shem's finding out that the, the hard way is that, you know, it just depends on how many bottles you sell and that's how many, that's what you get. But there are distilleries out there. Like New Riff used to be like anybody that could come that wanted a barrel could come, but now they moved to an allocation model. So it it's just gonna vary by distillery. Is that just because of scarcity of what's available? Well, I mean it's it's yeah, because I mean it's partially because of that. I mean, you've got 
basically every distillery has a set number of barrels that they put aside for the single barrel program. And they're always going to go to accounts that, you know, whether distributors or retailers that take care of them or whatever. Um, and then after that, it could open up to somebody else. But there are also other distilleries out there that they don't have people banging on their door to be able to do that. So there are ones that are available. So there, there's plenty of small craft distillers that you could probably just go knock on their door and, and figure it out. But the big dogs, the big dogs are out of the question. Like you're not going to get anything from like the, you know, the big five or six in Kentucky. Nope. All Not right. without selling at least a hundred grand worth of their product. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> Do y'all want to eliminate one or try to pick a? Yeah, I think um, I got my winner. Yeah, I'd say I'd say let's go ahead and we'll put forward. I mean, okay, I'm gonna taste one more one more time through here. <laughs> I was I was late. I had to go get the, the pliers. The All right, so Austin Powers body with Kenny's head. Oh. Mm-mm, with no wires pliers. and a bottle. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go ahead and ixnay that one. <laughs> I love that. All right, we'll put David's on there. Yes, take David. Yeah. David's head. Fine. On Bourbon Street as Austin Powers. <laughs> as long as I can get a bottle <laughs> of this, hurricanes. we'll be good. <laughs> yeah, you'll get a bottle. I wouldn't worry about that. Maybe it's on the pick team gets a bottle. By the way, if anybody's actually wondering, like, why why we're doing this, whatever, uh, make sure you go check it out. We have a whole barrel club, uh, and that's why we are doing this. So if you want to support us and also get your hands on some really good whiskey at the same exact time, you can go and check it out. Just go to uh, this website right here, bourbonpursuit.com slash single barrel club, or just go to bourbonpursuit.com and click the barrel club link. And there's all the information that you need about joining. So you can be one of these fine people here to help join us on a barrel pick. At least when we used to do them in person. If you want to see what picks are coming, Shem has done a fantastic job of updating the spreadsheet. So you can go there and you can see everything that's coming. You can see what you get by coming to these tiers that all go through Patreon. And if you're wondering, oh, how does shipping work? Can I get it? Blah, blah, blah. There's all the FAQs there too. So tried to answer as many questions as I've gotten over the period of time. Very nice guys. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> I just show up on the picks. Thanks, Kitty and Shim. You have the golden palette. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> you see, there's a you can be like, Ryan's the gold member there, but his tongue oh, yeah. is the his tongue is gold. How about that? Yeah. Uh, Tim's asking when will in-person picks come back? We've actually done two this year already. We did yep. bullet and, uh, what was the other Yellowstone? Oh, I did Yellowstone. Yeah. Ryan, you weren't there yeah. for that one. Yeah. So bullet and Yellowstone. And then we've got four roses coming up as well. That will be in person. Got new uh, riff. Ezra too. and yep. Rebel and, and new riff. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Ezra. That'd be a good and rebel. But you could have Rebel, a health product, yeah. Rebels the weeder, Ezra's Elijah Craig, Hannah McKenna, whatever. All right. Let's eliminate one. Raise your hand if it's your least favorite. And that'll be the easiest way to get rid of this one. Is fifty six twenty three your least favorite? No. Is fifty seven ninety your least favorite? For real? Fuck guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank so all. My, 58 18 is my least favorite. All right. So am I alone on that one? Shit. All right. So we are between 58 18 and 56 23. Thank you all. We got to keep Kenny in check. Proof and proof and tannins. <laughs> Dang. I was like, man, I was like, if, if, if 5790 makes it to the quarterfinals here, I was like, I'm going to try to sway some people. <laughs> it was, Dude, that was like, hot. That thing's like eating St. Elmo's freaking cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce. <laughs> Just like blows you up. Your nostrils are clear. Instantly. Uh, it burns your soul. Mm-hmm. There is a jet fuel element to it uh, <laughs> just even on the nose 
Jet fuel tastes delicious. You guys should try it sometime. <laughs> One million proof. That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a strong One contender. Million, he goes, wait a minute, million dollars isn't that money these days. <laughs> yeah. And then when they steal the bomb and they're at the United Nations. Yeah. <laughs> like, then they just laugh at them. They're like, ah. Oh. And then he goes, wait, a hundred billion dollars. Like, ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So stupid. It is. It is. All right. Well, uh, 30 more seconds and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll vote on our favorite here. If y'all need some time to finish the rest of your samples or figure out what you got going on here. If I finish the rest of my samples, I will have a hard time knowing what's going on. These yeah. things are strong. Yeah, I had to leave some in each of my bottles just uh, for tomorrow because otherwise I'm going to be on the floor. <laughs> yeah. It's the only way I can sleep these days. <laughs> yeah, I just got to I got to finish all these. No, I'm just kidding. And that's without caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's why I said you can't have caffeine. You can't sleep without it. All right. Well, if I have to choose between these two, I know which one I'm going with. <laughs> well, glad. <laughs> <laughs> Let me keep putting me in my place over here. All right, guys. Ready to come to the vote? All right. I'm glad we got five people. That always uh, that always helps make things easier. So, if uh, if fifty six twenty three was your favorite, raise the hand. Well, oh, I'm the outlier. I think so, David. You want to raise your hand anyway? Hey, if fifty eight eighteen was your favorite, raise your hand. Okay, Thanks. David. Sorry, you lost, but. <laughs> What Thanks for dick. playing. Thanks for playing, David. I'm glad glad you're a part of that. But no, uh, congratulations, guys. This was fun. So 56-23. This was the oldest barrel of them. And considering that we are uh, less than a month away from its birthday, I'm going to imagine that this will be hitting the, what, seven-year mark? Oh, no, wait, six-year six year. Six yep. year mark. This will, this will hit the six-year mark by the time it, it gets bottled because usually these take two to three months to, to actually – go through that process and then another month to actually ship out to California, then another month for Shim to make a, you know, the pages and then no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I actually have the pages waiting months in advance, but <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Uh, but yeah, that's awesome. So guys, uh, so 65.9% on this one, but that is just the sample proof. We'll figure out what the actual bottle proof is going to be. I think we bested ourselves here too. You think, do you had it beforehand? Yeah, I do. I, well, I had it during, he always does that. It's smart. Shim's the yeah. best. He is. <laughs> he knows. What's I think. Going I on. think we best ourselves on old, old elk as well. So that'll be nice. Man, that's hard to do. I mean, I really like that old elk. Yeah. The, cool. the proof just is right. Keep it crushing really it. Then. The which one? I like the proof is right. It was great. We opened it up by the fire one night, and then we had to basically cut ourselves off. We had to stop. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. And, and then you realize like you could you could use it in lieu of lighter fluid. Yeah. yeah I basically, need, I, would, I would probably have to move out and sleep out by the fire and just make that my permanent address because my wife would probably shoot. Me. Dangerously delicious. So good. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, this was fun, guys. Um, so, hey, everybody here that's on the uh, the stream, make sure you stay here. We'll we'll chat a little bit afterwards. But you all just saw a few seconds ago about. If you're curious about how you can get your hands on these bottles and what this is all about, we, of course, have the Bourbon Pursuit Private Barrel Club. And not only just we select a ton of barrels, but you help support the podcast and everything that Ryan and myself and Lauren and Fred, we do to continue to try to bring great content and all the personalities behind the brands that you love and, and try to listen to those stories. So we appreciate everybody that is supporting us. It's it's always uh it's always a blessing every single time to be able to pull up Patreon every day and kind of listen to listen to messages and go on Discord and talk to folks and everything like that too. So thank you so much for everybody that yeah. is supporting us. It's a it's a huge help. And yeah, Ryan, you want to chime in there? No, just I agree and concur. I mean, I second that. It's a 
it's a blessing that we get to do this and it's so much fun and great to meet you guys, Patrick and David. Hopefully it's in person one time. Well, Shim, I've never met you in person either. So, <laughs> uh, well, I, I have family out your way. So at some point it'll happen. Yes. Let's do it. Are, are you in <laughs> Vegas? I'm in uh, Oakland in California, but my Oakland. in-laws are in prospect. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just 15 minutes South. Come on down. Yep. <laughs> Well, and as Brian says, I can go put my pliers. I can go put them away now. Now that uh, <laughs> all, all trusty things. This is and these are like massive dudes that gosh, came from uh, like Harbor Freight. I was actually trying to find the smaller ones, but thank God I had these extra ones sitting around. That was uh, we were thinking that you were going to break the neck of the bottle. Oh but no! In your hand, y'all didn't y'all didn't see it. So Lauren was on the other side of this door when I was doing it. And she was scared. She was like, you need to do this out here. Like, you're going to get bourbon, like, all over the computer. I was like, no, I got to get on camera. Like, this shit's gold. Like, people are going to eat this up. <laughs> I was like, Did she loosen those for you? you no. Know, uh, yeah, she loosened them. Yeah. That's funny. She's way she's way cooler than me. You know that. All right. But we'll go ahead. Um, guys, again, stay on here. But, Dan, thank you, everybody, that tuned in. Um, little teaser for next week. So as we had said, we are going to be selecting some Russell's Reserve barrels. How many are there going to be? We get to choose five barrels. So a lot of Russell's Reserve coming your way. So we're super excited to be able to do that. So we've got that. We've got... We get to choose as many as we want from those samples. Oh, so we're getting six samples. <laughs> we get to choose up to six, apparently. So... Um, <laughs> Who knows? It might be the easiest barrel pick ever. Be like, ah, we'll just take them all. So, <laughs> but UN, that UN UN UN. Uh, this, these are all unless they're unless they're a, a flat out dud. Then I, I don't see sure reason why not. Case. I know for sure. Um, but make sure you check in for that. So five to six Russell's bears coming your way. We are now signed up to do two four roses, and then we just got allocation for another four roses barrel. So we've got three four roses. Yeah, yeah, three, four roses barrels coming. Um, Jim, am I missing anything? No, I th and then we've got you know the the wooden villas that'll be going to seal blocks at some point. And yep, so we've yep. all that's that's another thing. So we just submitted seven new labels for pursuit series. Two of them are woodenville. Two of them are Finger Lakes. One is a I put unquote a sequel to episode eighteen. Um, yes. yeah, so there's, there's a, uh, what was it? Another one is a seven year weeder from finger leagues. No, so, it's not weeder. Or what is it? It's their high rye bourbon, but with sweet corn. That's right. Or not sweet corn, white corn, white corn. That's white what corn. it was. Yeah. That's what it was. But it was good. We, oh, we tried it. And we're like, sign us and up. then I, I think Shauna can probably get us back in for another, uh, one of these this year and then probably another Jack, uh, uh, barrel proof this year as well perfect keep the train rolling a lot of good things happening so thank you everybody for tuning in uh, we had almost like 100 people tune in at one point so that was awesome to be able to see this happening and we'll be back again next week selecting the russell's barrels it'll just be probably ryan and i going live uh doing that so make sure you stay tuned and follow us on all the socials and we'll keep bringing you good podcasts every week too so make sure you subscribe to all those channels or Actually, apparently, you're not supposed to say subscribe anymore because people think that it it means that it costs something. Like Apple's changing their whole thing to now say follow instead of subscribe. So in the next iOS update, you're going to see they're going to change that. It's no longer subscribe. It says follow. It's, cool. Oh, boy. It's things. Whatever. <laughs> but make sure you follow. All the podcasts are always free. So, well, cheers, everybody. Thank you so much. And we'll talk to you soon. Toodles. <laughs>